G'day guys. G'day, welcome to another episode of Sailing for Power. We're out here on the beautiful Port Hacking, sweating our absolute butts off. It is a scorcher today, there is zero wind. And what are we doing? We're gonna chase some of Sydney's tastiest critters, <laughs> Southern Calamari. Yeah. So they're, they're a sight hunter, so the water's a bit dirty in mm -hmm. here because we've had a bit of a tsunami warning and there's a bit funny currents going on at the moment. So we're yep. gonna head offshore and hopefully try to catch something. Let's get out there because I'm melting. So we've had a bit of a tsunami marine warning the last couple of days because of that uh, volcano in Tonga. And um, the current is a bit funky here at the moment. And the water is a bit dirty. So the squid, the squid are like a sight hunter. They've got massive eyes and they, they really rely heavily on sight to hunt stuff. So when the water's dirty, it's a bit harder to catch them because they can't see the jig as well. So. Uh, We've been trying here for a bit this morning and haven't had any luck, so we're going to head out offshore a little bit to some cleaner water and uh, hopefully be able to catch some for you, for ourselves. Yeah, it's absolutely scorching today. Mm, it's not filthy. Yeah, the squid, squid definitely like favour clear water, so when it's dirtier we like to use the brighter jigs to kind of stand out in the uh, muck. The ocean is alive this morning. There's bait everywhere. Big yakas. Alright, we're here. It's absolute glass off. And uh, huge swell. Yeah, massive swell, but so see how we go. <laughs> this is a new spot actually, so Oh, there's a big fish just there on the surface. Is it? Something. Big shark. Bruce. Bruce. Anyway, give it a shot. So we had a huge uh, white spotted here just a few days ago. So a little bit touchy about diving at the moment. It's uh, definitely intimidating when you see a white just where you dive a lot. So it's in like two meters of water, wasn't it? Yeah. It's like a shallows. four meter white in two meters of water at a really popular swimming spot. So yeah, pretty keen to just stay out of the water today for a few days. Having a squid fish, that swell is huge. It's making me pretty anxious about sitting out here. So we've actually come to one of the deepest spots just so it doesn't break because uh, it's breaking in like what, six meters of water over there where we were? Yeah. So, anyway, that would explain why the water's so dirty because of that ground swell. It just churns up all the sediment and stuff sitting on the bottom. Anyway, are you going to teach me how to squid fish today, Michael? <laughs> teach myself first and then we'll uh, work from there. So I've been really jealous because I can catch squid, but Michael catches them consistently over and over and over again. So. I'm gonna copy him to a T and see what he does. It's surreal, isn't it? Yeah. I'm sitting in a little pool of yakas right now. I've been told I have to put a bigger jig on. What am I putting on? The biggest? Well, I'll just put on something bigger than that because that's, that's quite deep and that'll take two months to hit the bottom. So we're using these Yamashita jigs, or Yamashita as we call in Australia. Yamashita. Um, Jess just had this little one on, but it's it's really small. I think it's a size 1.5 or 2. What's that, the weight? Just the size of the weight, so it sinks really slow. It's for shallow water. So let's put you onto something a bit heavier. Cliche girl fishing. There you go. So that's a 3. Point Five, I think, or 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. So it sinks a bit faster. And uh, we'll see how we go. We 
drifted off the spot so we just kind of we always just rock up to a spot first up and just do one drift to gauge the current and then we'll go from there Again? yep on Got right. one. yep get ready for followers oh. oh well i was having little faith there but we've actually got one i've been too busy filming the jackets followers? oh no there is a follower where, where? right next to it yep see oh stop looking at the squid and eat my jig oh i got another oh, one another quick one. get the squid in get yours in get that other one looking at you oh yes oh there's another, there's another one they're everywhere there's heaps this is crazy and, oh what happened so oh you just squeezed it too hard Oh, double hook up. On again. Double hook up. We're on again? No, oh, it's a bit of sick. No, uh oh, oh. Let's just drop it. Oh, I caught some. So, we just squeeze the head, that's the quickest way, yeah? There's yeah, one well, there. That, There's that one kills there. the body. Can I do this without getting Oh, you lost him. Oh, Rookie. He's still there. Oh, well. Did you mark that spot? Yeah. So every time we hook a squid, we put a mark on the sounder. And then after a while, if you find a good spot, you just get these, you see these little patches where you <laughs> hooked a squid every time and you know you're just going through your little patch next to it. Oh, I believe I Drop that squid. There was three or four of them that show you that squid, but I accidentally squeezed his head off. <laughs> that's my, uh, that's what I love about squidding. Sometimes you catch one and the other ones will come up and they're such like voracious predators that they, um, they will eat each other as given the chance, you know, because they only live for about one year max. So to get that size, they'll go up to like 50 centimeter, like hood length or mantle length. So. To get that size in a year, they're just constantly eating, and they'll, uh, yeah, they'll, they'll turn on a mate in a, in a heartbeat. So definitely not a good choice of friends. Fickle friendship. What the hell is going on? You in tangles. You've taken my position for the day. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta dip it in the water. That's how I untangle it. Yeah. Michael's having a little bit of. Issues over here. Oh, the, the pro is. Uh... And I don't have any mono on here. What happened? There's no mono. Oh, you didn't bring any. <laughs> this is how not to squid fish. Oh, so Michael got tangled up, and I said, "Oh, you just dip your rod in." That was my favourite jig too. Unhook the line. And <laughs> I don't know. It just cut his line, and he lost everything. His jig, his mono. Drop your rod down. That's how I untangle it. She said. And the worst thing is we don't even have any mono, so we can't even retire it on here. What are you going to do? I'm losing faith. It's very quiet. Very quiet. Just moved spots uh, to a shallower reef. It's hot, but that wind's just finally started to puff, so a little bit of relief now. Spotted a squid off the boat. Oh, look! Yeah, it's right there. Right there. Yeah, I know. Take the bloody bait. Oh yeah, yep. Yeah. You're on. Huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, finally. Oh my god. Did you get it? It's not hooked. Huh? It's not hooked. What do you mean? It's just holding. Oh my god, I don't want to lose it again. Oh! You almost just squirted your camera then. Beautiful! Oh my gosh, I'm so lucky. You almost got the camera. That just missed my big camera sitting right there and the GoPro. Beautiful. Finally. What is it? Southern calamari? Southern calamari. Woohoo! So we just give him the choke. Well, you want to try it? Squeeze him around the head. Yeah, can. Good. Maybe we 
Oh, you got another one. Look, just got another one. <laughs> Taking a photo and you hooked another one. Hang on. Another one. Without even trying. That's how we do it. You want? Yeah, good. So if you're wondering why we're keeping the little ones. Um, Cause they're tasty. So squid are like one of the, the best things you can eat in terms of sustainability. They're so, so fast. They grow, what, they grow like and grow, breed, and die in a year or something like that, right? Yeah, sexual maturity at like seven or eight months. So, they're pretty much the, one of the better things you can eat in the ocean. No, and they're delicious. Oh Come on again, and it's a good, I feel, I think it's a good one. Yeah, a little one. Drop it, drop your jig over this side. Keeping it? Yeah, even more. Right. There's another one behind it. Hold, yeah. Ooh. What's a karate oh, chop? That does work. Half oh, it goes out. We're on the squid. Just gotta remember. Oh, yep. Hey. You're on? I'm on. best way to kill them if you squeeze them around the neck there you'll just separate the head from the body and the body will go white but if you just karate chop the head quickly one quick slam that'll kill the head so you aim for here and just quick oops, oops. <laughs> try again the right hand. there you go fully dead Pop his eye out. i think it's a big one felt like one not a bad one. Oh yes Oh, nice. I'm happy with that. Oh, <laughs> this is where I say, can, can you please grab it? Look at that. <laughs> so Beautiful. cool. Muzzled color. Turn around, turn that gun around. Alright, what, here? On the eyes? No, in the head. The, what, isn't that the head? Yeah. Huh? Hang it over the side a bit more because it's going to splat. Nice. Perfect. Beautiful calamari. That's how you kill a squid, humanely. I reckon we're pretty good. We've got a lot of squid there. I don't know if we need to get any more. Maybe we'll send the drone up and show you our beautiful hometown of Cronulla, which is uh, look pretty nice with the swell at the moment. There's so many surfers out. Oh, he's a big one. Look at that little haul of squid. Delicious. There's a couple of meals there in that. Very good. Can you chuck me the sponge, please? A must on a squidding boat. It's a couple of rags and a sponge. If that ink dries, it's like it's so permanent hard. marker. We've got it all over our boat too from the mooring. We've had lights on our boat um, so no one hits us at night. We've got like solar lights. And it's actually been attracting all the squid so we'd come back and there'd be ink all over the boat so you got to scrub it off but yeah it's all scarred like the boat's stained hey it's got little black stains all over it, it from the squid the paint, it does yeah it gets into the paint yeah, it's man. really bad on gel coat isn't it even worse it's bad on anything
Lips off. thumbnail for the video. Goodbye. So we didn't do too bad. How many did we get? Five squid? I think so. Got a feed anyway. It's just such a beautiful day. It's a bit hard going but we kind of anticipated that with the weird currents and dirty water. That it's still those, huge yeah, squid, that's a good Good dinner for us. We found this little ball floating. That's the, the third one we've seen, and the second one we've managed to rescue. But oh, yes, and that's how they go. Look how fast it goes. Quick. Oh, man. <laughs> that's how fast it is to lose them. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> we had a good rally going on there before I turned the camera on I think as well. I'll get done with it. See how fast they drift away too. Yeah. There's no weight in the water. It just rolls around. Alright, tell us how you treat your squid. So, cleaning fresh squid I find really tricky. Well, not tricky, but just messy. The skin sticks to it really bad. Ink gets everywhere. So I just chuck it in the freezer. That's and all. Everything, the whole lot. And then when you defrost it, it's good to go again. And all the uh, it's easier to clean. It's easier it? to clean. You can pull all the guts and everything in one piece. If you want to take the skin off, it comes off straight away. And uh, but I have been experimenting leaving the squid skin on, and there's nothing wrong with it. So, and you can keep the wings on the body if you're grilling them that way. So I just keep the skin on now. But have a go at the. I don't know if you can see how cool the patterns are on them. Because we're going to grill these, right, on the barbecue? Yeah, so I'll do like, like, do like my little Hungarian. Mediterranean, Hungarian, Mediterranean. Okay, well, welcome back. Through the magic of YouTube, the squid have frozen and grown in size. They are different squid, I will be completely honest. So nobody calls us out and gets upset because we're using different seafood. Uh, the, other three just, the, other three, the other squid are still defrosting. Freezing. <laughs> You're confusing everybody. I'm confusing now. everyone. Now I'm, I'm definitely lying, putting people off. People okay. think that we stage stuff because we've used the wrong different seafood, but the thing is, we don't like eating fresh seafood, as weird as no, that sounds. No, we do like eating fresh seafood, but not same day fresh. With fish, I don't like eating it the very same day, even if it's sashimi, because the muscles are still really tight and the fillets seem to like hold a lot of moisture so yeah we always like to eat fish you know a day or two later and uh, squid I always like to freeze them and defrost them I think that makes them a bit more tender and just easier to clean so you can see these are just squid went in the freezer as is so the beauty about squid is it defrosts really fast so it's a good uh, last minute meal almost and you don't have to marinate it for too long so I'm just gonna throw that into the sink and run some salt water over it yeah so I don't like to wash or soak any of my fish or seafood in fresh water because it leaches all the saltiness out of it I reckon and, and just kills the flavor a bit so if you're gonna defrost squid or fish or wash the fillets I'd wash them in 
salty water, you know, add a bit of salt to the water you're doing it in. But ideally you just use sea water or nothing at all. So just, or just defrost it in a bag. You don't want fresh water to come in contact with your seafood. I didn't buy those squid, we caught them the other day. It's, it's a never ending cycle of frozen and defrosted squid on here <laughs> in a perfect world. So while that's defrosting, I will make up the marinade, which is super easy and really nice. Like we've done the salt and pepper squid before, I think on the channel, maybe, I can't mm -hmm. remember. I assume so. Anyway, we did that, had that for dinner last night actually, salt and pepper squid, <laughs> but it was, uh, it's very messy and it's, it's definitely a weekend only meal. So this is a healthier version. Of healthier version, Michael. Well, healthier. That's unlike you. What happened? Yeah, that's healthy. What happened? Why are you eating healthy all of a sudden? So apparently, my cholesterol's through the roof. <laughs> can, can you be? Would you be surprised? I can't believe, believe it. that. So anyway, I'm trying to be a bit healthier. I don't even think squid's that good for cholesterol. To be honest, I'm sure it's high in it's cholesterol. Like, like, yes, there are. Like a lot of seafood. But anyway, speaking of cholesterol. We're going to make a marinade for the grilled squid, not fried. So just start with a bit of olive oil in a bowl. Cover the squid. I don't think we'll eat all those squid, will we? That's just two squid. One each. That'll do. So a bit of olive oil. This is all to taste. I don't have any measured amounts. I just keep adding and, and just till it tastes good. As long as you keep trying it, you'll be fine. So three cloves of garlic. You never put too much garlic in, so it doesn't really matter. Paprika, hot paprika. I think that's smoked. I just reuse the jars. Okay, so we've got your oil base, your garlic, a bit of paprika. And then a bit of thyme, dried thyme. And Phil, the marina manager, has given us a sprig of rosemary from his garden. He didn't give it to us, I actually just pinched it out of his garden. Thanks, Phil. He didn't give you it? No. You stole it? Yep. Okay. He, well. No, he's told us millions of times, help yourself to the sure. rosemary. How did you get kicked out of the marina? <laughs> I guess he was caught stealing. No, I think I'd only get in trouble if I stole his limes. <laughs> anyway. Bit of fresh rosemary, stolen rosemary, the best tasting rosemary. Inside there. And a bit of salt, rock salt, flake salt, should I say. A little bit of salt in there. And the secret ingredient. Dolan's Bay honey. Dr. Nathan's Dolan's Bay honey. He gave us, this was full when he gave it to us and it's rapidly declining. And he's moved, since moved, so the Dolan's Bay honey is no more. So this is the last batch. So you just kind of mix it around and then just taste it. And you just add what you need, so it's not salty enough, put more salt. Okay, so olive oil, paprika, sea salt, thyme, a bit of rosemary, and honey. That's all you need. Mix that in. And then when that squid's defrosted, I'll show you how to clean it and everything. Score the skin, take the guts out, marinate it for about half an hour max. Well, half an hour minimum, should I say. And uh, throw it on a hot grill. I'll show you later. And it's bloody good. Bloody good. Okay, so that squid's been just defrosting. It only took like 15 minutes and it's pretty soft now, still nice and cold. And you can see from freezing it, that skin already starts to peel away. When they're fresh, the skin's really, really sticky and it's attached to the body really well. So if you were to salt and pepper this or you wanted to remove the skin and just have a nice tube for calamari rings or crumbed calamari, it comes off really easy. Um, but because I'm gonna do this on the barbecue as whole as possible, I'll keep the wings on. And uh, yeah, I'll show you how to clean it. So. Running down here is like a what they call the feather, which is the, the backbone. So it comes to this little nub here. You just want to pick your nails under it. And then you can actually separate that from the body. You see that? And then what you want to do is just get your finger and run it between the feather and the top of the body here. Just try to get as far back as you can. 
<laughs> and then you can grab the head, the whole head, and pinch that feather. And then you just kind of wiggle it out. And if you carefully pull, you pull the whole guts. That little thing there, that's the ink sack. That'll make a huge mess. And then you get the head and all that, and that's the feather there. So, pretty cool. It's like a piece of plastic. But um, anyway, there's a feather. And then here, you keep the tentacles because they're delicious to eat. But you got the beak key, which is like a parrot's beak that they used to bite me with. I got bitten last year. And uh, it was nice fun. Nice chunk out of your hand. Didn't Took, <laughs> I had the squid like this. I was choking it to kill it. And then it just went around like this. I didn't know they could even bend that much. And it just went and just bit me right in the hand there. Same day, I got bitten by Archie on uh, the blue and gold macaw on Selkie. I got bitten by a macaw, a squid, and a mud crab in the same day. True story. Anyway, so that's the beak there. It's like a little parrot's beak. I don't know if you can see that. But, so you got the guts and everything there. And then just take the tentacles. You just get your knife and you just cut forward of the eyes. So just like that. You can pinch it too, can't you? And then you get that whole thing there, which is like a... You've got the two candles that they use to shoot out. They retract them and shoot them out to grab prey with really sticky suckers on the end. So that goes in there like that. That's pretty much fully cleaned in there. Yep, so you can see inside it's pretty, pretty good to go. Airing this for the barbie, get a really sharp knife. You don't want to cut obviously all the way through, you just want to score You're it. You're not going to take the skin off that one? No, I'll leave the skin on now. You can take the skin off, but I like to leave it on. So you just want to score it lightly. What's that just to get the flavour in? Yeah, it just helps it cook a bit even more evenly, I think. Okay, so that, there you go, you got this fully scored with the skin which goes all crunchy and, and black and delicious. And then you've got scored squid there, in the bag. That's the guts, so that's all throw away. That's great bait if you want to go fishing. Right, and then you just get the marinade, put it in the bag. Leave it there for about half an hour or more, overnight if you want. So we've got this spoon, my mate Matty bought us this spoon. It's amazing. It's great for getting all the stuff out of the jar, apparently. Just uses it to clean up her smoothies, but look at that, for the marinade. So good. Shout out, good. Cheers, Maddie. Thanks, Benzig. Thanks, Phil, for the rosemary. Thanks, Ocean. Dr. Nathan, for the uh, honey. And thanks, Yamashita, for making the best damn squid jigs money can buy. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. <laughs> But I'd love to be sponsored by Yamashita. <laughs> Seal it up, chuck it in the fridge until you're ready to use. Mm. But you can see that, like it just... Looks terrific. <laughs> oh, it won't taste terrific, that's for sure. Won't taste terrific? Won't taste terrific. Okay. I think it looks great. Mm. And salad? <laughs> Go again. Jessie uses her lack of barbecue, her perceived lack of barbecue skills to palm off any barbecue meal onto me. Yep. Even though she's more than capable. Mm -hmm. Alright. Getting dark out here. It is. Almost night time. Would you believe it? <laughs> so we've got our squid that's been marinating for a few hours now. Hot and fast is what you want to do it on a barbecue. Cold barbecue, any barbecue. So as hot as it'll go. And you want to probably just cook them for about a minute, 30 seconds aside. Depending, you just want to get some of that char on there. So just whack that on there. Drop it. Get them basting. Good. 
Finishing touch. Finishing touches, huh? What? Is that basil? Cool? Basil, you want some? No, I'm good. Oh well, here it is. It smells so good. Delicious squid. Yeah, so we're filming the eating part. Even though we've eaten this a million times and we know it's good, people get really upset if we don't put us eating it. Everyone's so, like, I want to see people eating. Like to watch people eating. I'm definitely not one of those people. Um, here you go. Anyway, there it is. The tentacle is definitely the best bit. Oh man, that recipe is a winner. Mm. All right, tentacle going in. Mmm, better than usual too. It is. It was extra smoky this mm. time, so. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Um, Cheers. Yeah, hopefully you learn a few things about catching squid and how to cook them and whatnot. And uh, give us a like, thumbs up, subscribe, all that stuff. And we'll uh, see you on the next one. Oh, and don't forget, we've got merch now, sailingforpower.com. Check it out. Thanks guys. Cheers guys, see bye. <laughs> what were you saying to me yesterday, Michael? Dialed the engine in so well. <laughs> it's just the one pull. Well, it is one pull if we do it from that cut. So they'll never know. See, like a dream. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying? <laughs>